Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. These are the things we are going to see in the application guidelines. Let's open the file and have a look on the instructions. Please note that the application for 2022 is not yet announced. So we are going to use previous year 2021 application guideline to make a proper explanation. You will get the guideline in English as well as in Korean. Now for easy understanding, we will use the document which is based on English. As you can see here, last year the Korean government aimed to take 1278 students among all other nations. They divided the total students into two subdivisions. The first one is embassy track and is about 663 graduates got the position last year. And the other one is university track and they given position to 615 students. Here you have to remember that the research program means postdoctorate and they have only very limited position as I said before. Now let's talk about embassy quota which means that the number of positions are divided based on each selected country. For example, for India they allotted only 28 seats. That means even though there will be many applicants from India, they will select only top 28 applicants based on the score that they got. So please be careful when you prepare your application, make sure that you have everything what they ask so that you will get the score as much as possible and you will be the top 28 applicants. Similarly, you have to check for your own country seat allotment and that will give you a good guideline in order to make the application process. As you can see here, in postdoctorate program, only one Indian student will be selected. Just to think how competitive this position. I am saying this because not to discourage you, I am advising you to make your profile well and good with clear information so that you will get this position. Now let's see about the university track seats available for Indian students. In this track, for postdoctorate program, they selected only 5 candidates from 76 countries without any quota. This year may be the same or it might change also. Let's wait for the official confirmation. Please remember that there are two quota for university track. The first one is general program and another one is regional university program. If you go a little further down, you can notice that what are the two quotas based on type 1 and type 2. Type A is for general classification with 24 university and type B is with 35 institutions. So you can select either type A or type B for general quota but for regional science and engineering you should select only type B. So please make sure that when you make application process you have to remember this kind of small small informations otherwise you might miss your application. One more important thing here is that if you are applying for embassy track you must choose three different decide universities and available majors field of study I mean among listed 59 universities and you must include at least one university from type B which means from regional university. This condition will apply to only the students those who are applying for the embassy track. As I said before, university tax students will apply only one university whereas the embassy tax students can apply more than one university. So you might apply to university or three university. When you apply for a three university, you have to choose universities from both type A as well as type B. You cannot just choose one type. So please keep in mind that when you are making the application process based on the embassy track. As you can see here, in university track last year for Indian students, 30 seats were allotted and 19 for general institution and 11 for regional universities. As I heard from my friend, compared to 2019 and 2020, they increased the number of applicants in 2021. It might happen this year also, let's hopefully wait, they might increase the number of applicants so that more students from India will get benefit this year. And I hope and I wish that will happen. Now let's see what kind of other things we have in this scholarship program. The main important thing this slide. 
when your application will be possibly rejected as i said before if you apply more than one university under university track then you might face the rejection so please keep in mind that people will follow your application very carefully and you cannot make a cheat in the application process also you don't receive any scholarship in the future if you make this kind of fraud activities in the university track applications so please be careful about that the next important thing is that don't mention any misinformation like a grades and overall percentage to clear your selection as i said before you should have more than 80 percentage in your completed degree program so in order to be selected don't put like you got 78 and for to be selected you are putting like 82 or 83 percent but it will be like a fraud activity and if they find it out and you will be rejected and in the future also you might not apply and you might not get any scholarship from the korean government so please be careful about that because when they will do the cross verification of your certificate you might face the rejection also so please be careful about your certificate information also the final one is submitting fake documents so make sure that you don't commit any mistake and i wish you will not do but please don't do because this scholarship program is very good for your future my advice please take this opportunity very seriously and don't play with this because i am in korea almost 7 years i am not from this kgs program but i am from other university and professor funded program i struggled a lot in order to get a scholarship and i worked very hard for that and i know how it is difficult in order to get the scholarship in order to be successful in life so i am just advising you please follow the steps what they have and in case if you don't have a ability or if you don't have a percentage to apply in this program there are many other opportunity which is available in korea you can uh, find and you can apply for your higher studies and i will guide you through that also so please don't make a mistake and don't you know spoil your name in a research environment because once you got your name spoiled here and you might not get a good positions to study in korea so please be careful about that and take this scholarship program very seriously and i hope you will not do now let's see how you can check the list of successful applicants the announcement will be made in study in korea website you can check the link in the description and that will give you the guidelines in order to check your application status it will be very simple you just to open the link and go for the gks notice page there you can see all the information like when the application will be announced when the first round selection will be announced and when finally you will get the results and that will be very easy and i will put those information in my upcoming videos you don't need to worry about that So now you got the scholarship what will you do in Korea at first you will join in a university to study Korean language for one year you cannot directly go and join in your higher studies first you have to study the Korean language then you have to write topic exam and has to clear the level 3 some university might ask level 3 and some university might ask more than you know level 3 that is based on the university requirements you have to check clear with each university please remember that you have to clear level 3 within 1 year so what if you fail in the exam well they will give you extra 6 months like a grace period to clear your exam but remember that the scholarship period will remain the same for example if you are a master student the maximum period of financial support is 2 year and one year for korean language so the total is 3 year but if you fail and take extra 6 months then you will be paid only 3 semesters and you have to pay your own money for the next semester that means it's very clear that your masters program will be supported for only 2 years and korean language for only 1 year so the total scholarship program is only about 3 years please keep in mind that Similarly if you are a PhD it will be the same with one year extra financial support and the total year will be 3 without one year support for Korean language so the total support will be 4 year for the PhD 
and if you do your phd like more than 3 years then you have to support or you might get the support from the professor so that's based on the lab where you are going to join and where you are going to work and that's a different story but if you don't clear your exam in the grace period what will happen well you should go home or else you have to find other positions like i'm just joking yeah in a serious manner yes you should go back to your country and you cannot stay in korea because your visa status will be changed and there are many complications but there are many things you can change your visa or you can find other scholarships and you might stay in study also and that is based on your ability and how you are you know handling your situations so what are the other important thing you have to remember in this scholarship program the main important thing is that you cannot do the university transfer once you choose the university that's it whether you like or don't like the university you should stay in the same university and you have to complete your degree and there are other possibility you can change your research lab but you cannot change your university in case if you want to change to other university you can do but you cannot be supported by the korean government anymore and your visa might be cancelled also please be careful about that because once you leave the university the university will inform to the immigration and the immigration will take the process and they will cancel your visa so please be careful what kind of steps you are taking once you try to change the university from one place to another so you cannot change your visa here because i have a friend who experienced that kind of situation and they tried to change the visa but they couldn't change it they clearly said in case if you want to change your visa they said you have to go back to your own country and apply for a new visa then come back to korea so please be careful about that finally this is the most important thing you have to do before you come here please try to contact your friends if someone working here or studying here in the university i mean if you know someone please contact and ask them about the university and the research lab where you are going to join or where you are willing to join in the future because the professor and the lab selection will be the main part in your korean life if you make a wrong selection you will either end up changing the research lab or you might lose this great scholarship so make decisions wisely and do the procedures properly so finally all the best for your application process next i will make another video about gks u scholarship program for undergraduate students so if you have any questions please don't hesitate please make your comment i would try to answer them as soon as possible finally thank you so much for listening to this video because i didn't show my face i just make a video with my voice i am little bit shy or i would say a little bit not you know ready to show my face and make a video but in the future i will make many for this kind of scholarship program as well as i am going to make many you know guidelines for the researchers so maybe in the future i will try to show myself and you know make comfortable with audience so that's not a important part so please ask your questions and i will try to answer them as soon as possible so that you can you know make your career very well and finally thank you so much and see you soon in my next video so thank you guys have a nice time and see you soon also if possible please share with your friends and other circle so that they will be also get benefit